Okay, check it out, fam. We got the Samsung, I don't know, I'll put up the model right now on the screen somewhere. Model, whatever it is, <clears throat> SS11. This thing is probably about nine months old and the right bottom burner went out. Um, so I'm gonna take this, bring it this way. You'll need a flat surface. You don't need many tools. Just pretty much uh, a driver. Don't set it on high or anything. It's just and a screwdriver, as far as I remember. Um, and some gloves. This is the heat element. I ordered one and I got it was the wrong part. I took out the whole burner. I already did this exercise once, so I kind of already know. So I took out the original burnt out burner and I got the model number and this is what you want. The D G four seven zero 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 six seven A. Um and it has this configuration right here. On Amazon there's pictures that had that this looked different even though I punched in this part number. So be careful with that. Um, and the other part number also, these were wider, so just things to look out for. Um, the gloves, the reason I think you'll need gloves is whenever I touch this material right here, it makes my hands feel weird. So uh, I'm going to use gloves because I don't know what the heck it is. Also, don't touch this heat element because with the oils in your hand, you'll... you'll <clears throat> mess it up the other burner it went out because the, it was burnt out right here and my wild theory is that the installer grabbed it like this without gloves or something and put fingerprints and oils on there i could be wrong i'm just making stuff up but that's what it kind of looked like but anyways mine went out it burnt out right there so <clears throat> there's four screws in the back top panel and then a few in here. And then I'll show you right now where we're at once I take that out. All right, so I got it unplugged. I put it like this. There's some wiring under here. So then I don't have to take this whole panel off. I can just set it like this. So we have one screw right here two three four five six seven all right so i like to keep a little tray so i can put the screws there um, correction, you don't need to take that metal one off. So now see how it's, it can come out. I'm gonna have my wife help me flip it like this. It's not really heavy. I would say it's probably about 20 pound ish, 25. And then just know that there's wires for this panel there's wires that meet here, under there, and run this way, and then go down into whatever panel it is. So when you flip it, just be careful. Um, I think a, a tall, strong person can do it themselves, but I'll get help. Okay, check it out, check it out. This is where we're at now. Like I said, we just flipped it. This is that wiring I was talking about. And it's held on with here, and this one really holds it together. So I had to reach over when this was halfway up to kind of loosen it. And um, so we can have a little bit more room. So now we're gonna take this one, this one, this one, those screws off, and then the ones on that side as well. Um, look, I already have one this this disconnected because um, I already took it apart the other day 
and I'll show you what that is. And then another reason I like to wear the gloves is at this point because um, this sheet metal is really sharp and the other day I actually got cut. So wearing gloves would hook it up. Okay, so check it out. This is coming apart. I squeezed this harness through the hole. I'm about to do the same thing with this one. I did have to disconnect it and this green uh, wire, some ground wire that's connected to here. And these kind of like uh, hold downs that are around here. Just move that aside. This is the other harness. And I'm gonna take this off now. All right, at this point I've taken this plate off. And <laughs> I already took this apart the other day. So it's pretty simple. There's these clamps <clears throat> that you'll need to just, it's pretty simple. You just pull forward and down and then it comes off. And then you take the wires off of that little panel and I'll put a picture in it but I recommend you take your own picture so you can know where to plug in what it's not too complicated but it's nice to have a reference <clears throat> I have a picture so I'll post it now um, see mine are, I already took these apart and this should be loose now so you'll slide the burner and this is what the burner looks like I think I already showed it there's these clamps that come off your old one and you'll install on the new one and you install it on number 66 and 33 if I remember correctly maybe 30 it's 30 and 66 I'll reference uh, another video I took and they're pretty simple you um It goes under like this, and then this little deal punctures into here. I'm going to try to do it right now. Alright, so I got one clamp on. It's not that difficult. Well, you just line it up under here. And then, go to it. And then you lift it to puncture, get through, and you're done. And then you have your clamps. All right, and then we'll slide this. <laughs> I got on 33, but I'm thinking it's uh, it's 30. See how it's right across the street from this one so if you didn't get it right it's no biggie there we go again take two yeah so it's 66 and 30 and then you slide it in that through and then the other one like this almost got it oh there it is bam so got that in make sure the other ones didn't come loose and then now it's the wiring. So it's kind of already set up. I'm gonna connect this one here. This one here. And this red one over here. People with the smaller hands are going to have an advantage on this one. Got two more over here. 
And then I'm gonna reference, I kinda went without referencing. I'm just gonna double check that I connected them correctly. And we're good. Um, and that's it, and then you gotta put it back together. Uh, a couple things to note that I forgot is that all the screws are the same. So no need to worry about um, organizing them. They all fit in every single hole together. And there's no way of me or if anybody knows a way to test it now rather than putting it back together and then testing it to see if everything worked out. So I'm, I'm just gonna put it all together, put it back into place and um, test it and cross my fingers, things work out. Okay, so I got the plate back. Remember that you wanna, this is one thing that you have to connect to here. Feed this through that you're gonna connect there. Your green wire to here. This dude to this dude. Another black wire to here. And then at this point you can go ahead and secure that bottom plate. And um, this tab goes under. My first time, this was kind of tricky to put back in. So just, uh, it's not, but just tricky, but not hard. But make sure this tab goes under this and you should be good. Okay, pretty much have it ready. So what I did is um, don't screw them. When you start screwing them, don't screw them all the way. So you have all of them screwed in, like halfway-ish, just into place. So then in case you need to adjust it for the next one or the ones on the other side, you can easily do that. And then, and then tighten all of them once everything's in place. So again, this one goes here, connected, the green wire here, this guy there, the black one and then the six screws three on each side all right cool so right here we're in position to flip it back onto where it goes i secured the wiring harness here 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 then when i Maybe if this countertop was a little bit lower, if you put a table that's a little bit lower, you'll probably be able to get this one on here. But last time I did it, when I put it, when I set it down, I was able just to lift it and um, secure the harness through here. This one, I actually don't know what it's for. Um, so maybe a different model with a different feature, I don't know or if you guys know, put down in the comments. All right, so here's what I was talking about. Just have somebody help you lift it and then get this, bring it down a little bit. More, more. And then twist it in to lock it in place. Okay. Now, we're good. There's that one, there's that in place, boom. All right, I'm put the, the screws in. Here's a good time to clean the mess up that's behind the range and in the range. And you can clean here because crud goes in there. And if things fell in your, where the fan is, you can vacuum it out. All right, let's see, got it back into place. Connected it, just connected it and let's cross our fingers that it works. This is the back. Son of a gun, it works, cool. So that one works, that was a busted one. The back one works. I don't know if the multi zone works. Let's see, so there's that zone. 
switching it. Okay, oh, now it's the large. Bam, so the multi zone works. That one works like it should. And so does that one. Cool. So not a bad job. Not too much of a pain. I would say it's gonna take you about 30 minutes to an hour. I use a towel to set this. So either a countertop or a table on the side of the range. Uh, you can do it with just a screwdriver. All the screws are the same. Have a place to put your screws so you don't lose them. I didn't have any screws left over. Um, and then the part number will be down in the description, but I also gave it in the video just in case I forget. I'm also going to put a picture of um, the wiring. Uh, cool. All right. Good luck.